In this episode of Automower Answers, we're going to talk about the Automower blades. We get a lot of questions about the blades, like how often should you change them? You know, what kind of blades are the best blades? Are there other options out there? Um, things of that nature. So we're going to try to answer as many of these questions and clear things up as much as possible in this video. Now, you know where we like to start the majority of times when we try to answer some questions about automowers? We like to start with a technical manual. So here's the section right out of the technical manual where it talks about the blades. Now, you can pause this and go ahead and read all this you want here. Uh, but basically, the important parts are, in order to keep the blades sharp for as long as possible, it's important to keep the lawn free from branches, small stones, and other objects. Warm blades should not be ground. That means don't try to sharpen these yourself. We have a lot of people ask if you can do that. No, you don't want to do that. And right here's why. This is to prevent the mowing system from becoming imbalanced. Uh, poor doll blades, as you can see there, it'll have a, a bad effect on your lawn. It'll start to turn the tops brown or like a yellowish color because it's just kind of beating on the grass instead of actually cutting it. Uh, all, my, all the blades must be serviced at the same time and replace the screws at the same time you're replacing the blades. Down here at the bottom, there are many different types of blades and they are sold in various package sizes. Use only approved original blades from Husqvarna. From the start of 2011, these are marked with a Husqvarna symbol. That means they have the crowned H logo on them, which you can kind of see in the picture there. Those are official Husqvarna blades, and we'll get into a little bit more of why that's important here in just a few minutes, but um, you can see here, this is what it says in the manual. It's very important to keep your blades changed often and change all of them at the same time. Use the new screws that come with them, and at the very top, it even tells you that it's more important to have fresh, sharp blades on an auto mower than it is on a conventional mower because of the cutting style of the auto mower compared to the cutting style of a conventional mower. So this right here is a Husqvarna official auto mower blade. This is what came on many of the auto mowers throughout the years. And chances are, if you buy a new one for the next year or so, you'll probably see these on there um, unless they make a change to a different style blade, which again, we'll get into here in a little bit, but this is the most common style the most common looking automower blade you will find and you can see here it has the Husqvarna logo in there it's kind of faint from the angle this picture is taken but it is there so this is an official Husqvarna automower blade this is what they referenced in the manual what you should be using here you can see it's kind of silverish in color because these Husqvarna official automower blades are made from carbon steel there's no quote unquote titanium coating on them that's why they don't have that gold collar um you know they're not labeled as something that sounds more tough and stronger than it really is like you will see on some of the knockoff blades this is it right here if you're going to buy automower blades as the manual said this is what you want to look for and you want to find that crowned h husqvarna logo in there to know that you're getting the right thing this right here is the most common way that most people buy their automower blades. You buy them in a pack of nine, comes with the new blades, the new screws, and for most people, this will last a season. You know, they're not mowing a big area. Um, this works for them. Other people will buy theirs in a pack of 45, or some people will even buy theirs in a pack of 300. There's options out there, those three options right there, to buy your automower blades in those different quantities depending on how much money you want to save, because the more you buy at one time, the cheaper the price gets per blade. This pack right here with the nine original style automower blades in it runs for roughly around 20 bucks right now. And this is 2019. So if you're watching this on down the road and the price goes up, don't hold us to that. <laughs> at this time, that's about the price of these blades here. So again, this is the most common style of blade. This is the most common way people buy their automower blades in one of these nine packs. That gives you three blade changes right there. So now, if you're an automower dealer or you get to your dealer pretty often or you spend a decent amount of time on the internet looking up stuff about automowers, you probably know that there is now this second option here for automower blades. And that is the Husqvarna Endurance Blades for the automowers. 
This is something that's been talked about for quite a while. They thought they were coming out. Then they're on back order. They would show up here and there. But here we are at the end of 2019, and they are pretty much readily available. You can order them in a six-pack like you see here. Six-pack, you say, but the other ones had nine in a pack. You must be wrong. No, this pack right here of these Endurance Blades, you get six blades per pack. That is it. Six blades, six screws, no more, no less. And the price for a six-pack of Endurance Blades will run slightly more than a nine-pack of the original style blades. Currently, you can also get the Endurance Blades in a 45-blade pack which again is going to cost more than the 45 blade pack of the original style blades. So what's the difference with the endurance blade compared to the original style blades for the automowers? This is an endurance blade here. You can see instead of having just the one hole for the screw to fasten the blade on, it actually has a slot. Now that's a crucial part in this blade design. We'll show you later on why that's crucial. Other than that, as far as the length, same length, so you're not going to get a wider cut or anything like that by swapping in these endurance blades over the regular style blades. So what's the big advantage to these endurance blades? Well, we're going to show you here in just a second. First, we're going to show you a few things about changing your blades that you might want to take into consideration next time you have to do it. Now, we all know changing the automower blades is a pretty easy thing. You flip it over, you line the holes on the uh, protection disc up with the screw heads, you use a Phillips head screwdriver, you take the screws right out, you take the old blades out, you can slide the new ones in there, and uh, off you go, right? Pretty simple. That's the way most people do it. That's the easy way to do it. That's the time-saving way to do it. But, you know, you might want to look into some other stuff if you are just wanting to make sure your automower is running at peak performance. You know, um, if you had a conventional mower and you were getting under there to take the blades off and put your new sharp blades on, wouldn't you clean some stuff out of the mower deck? You know, if you had grass built up in there, you wouldn't just slap the blades on and go, would you? So, yeah, you could do that. And just like here, you could take those screws out, take the old blade off, throw the new blades in there, and off you go. Here's a suggestion for those of you that want to keep your automower running at peak performance. Take your Torx bit and remove this center cap, the three screws that hold this center cap on, a plastic cap right here, and then you can take the shield off over your mower blades. This way, you're going to be able to get in there. You're going to be able to see if there's any kind of debris built up in there or you know, just clean out any kind of gunk in there to help keep your cutting system balanced. Every now and then, you might get a piece of string or something in there, or you just get that wet grass that kind of builds up, kind of funky in there. You take this thing off. It, there's three simple little screws. Take this off, lift that metal plate out of there, and then you can clean all of that out, or at least make sure it's clean in there, and keep your cutting system nice and balanced. Now, doing it this way, it makes it easier to hold the cutting disc when you go to take the screws out to replace your blades. It makes it easier to hold the cutting disc when you're putting the screws in to your blades to hold them on. And it also helps to ensure you're actually getting the screw through the hole in the mower blade. Believe us, we've seen it where somebody thinks they put a blade on there and they didn't. It's just laying in there. They fire the mower up. There it goes. The blade comes flying out, cutting system imbalanced, error message. And you try to tell them, hey, um, you didn't put your blade in right. It happens. So this is a good way to make sure you're getting everything on there right. It's also good because you can check that, that screw right there in the middle of your cutting system. Every now and then, if you do have some kind of a vibration or something, these things will work loose. It doesn't hurt, again, to go ahead and check that screw just to make sure it's snug on there and not going to come flying out. We've seen several people that have lost that lower shield and a couple other pieces because their cutting system was imbalanced, the screw vibrated out, they lost everything or ran over it or whatever, and it was gone. Just a headache you're going to save yourself, you know? And again, you're talking about a few extra seconds worth of work here, just like we explained earlier. If you were putting mower blades on your conventional mower, 
Would you not clean the mower deck out, scrape at least the big chunks out of there? Sure you would. So why not do it with your auto mower to keep it operating in the best possible condition? Now, you can tell by the slots here in these blades and the fact that they're just rectangular that we put a set of endurance blades on this mower. So, what is the big deal with these endurance blades? All right, we're going to explain it to you or show you right now. But before we do that, we have to just go over again how the original style blades work so you can see the benefits of these endurance blades. This is a standard auto mower blade here. It is able to pivot around the shoulder on the mounting screw that holds it to the cutting disc. If it hits something hard, it pivots back in, swings back out, and keeps cutting the grass with that same cutting edge. When the cutting disc stops, whether the mower is backing up, powered off, whatever reason, and starts back up, the cutting disc could spin the opposite direction. Then it would use the other side of the cutting blade to cut the grass. And that's the basics of the standard auto mower blade. So here's how the endurance blades work. Same setup basically as the standard blades where if you hit a hard object, it's going to swing back in. Um, centrifugal force holds it out to cut the grass, all that good stuff. But you can see here because it has that slot and the cutting edge is actually the full length of the blade, it can not only just spin around the screw, but when the cutting disc starts up, it can kick that blade out and actually start cutting with the other end of that blade. So because you're going to have a longer cutting surface on these blades, they're going to last longer than the standard blades. You know, when this thing rotates around, um, when the, the mower stops, comes back on, you know, whether it's backing up or whatever reason that the cutting disc stops and starts back up again, it can throw this blade out and start cutting with a different side of it than it was cutting before. So these are just going to last you longer. You're not going to have to change them as often. You're going to get more cutting time out of them. So in the long run, it's going to save you maintenance time and it's going to save you a little bit of money from having to replace the blades as often. So let's go back to this picture here that we showed you earlier. This will help you understand what we're talking about. On the endurance blade at the top here, you can see this whole length of the blade is a sharp cutting edge, same way as on the bottom of it. So this is going to cut grass with that entire length of that blade. So every time this thing slides in and comes back out, it's going to be rotating around and it's just going to keep on cutting the grass and using that entire length of that blade. On the bottom here, the bottom blade is the standard style automower blade. The cutting edge only goes from here to here. Now it is on both sides of this blade, but it doesn't run the full length. So when this rotates in, it's going to come back out. And it's going to be that same end of that blade cutting the grass. Well, that's it. That's all you're going to have from this blade. So you're pretty much doubling your cutting surface with the endurance blades compared to the standard blades. So you're going to get nearly double the cutting time out of them if you take care of them and mow in the proper conditions, keep the junk out of your grass, things like that. This will increase your time between blade maintenance. So now you understand how you get a longer cutting time out of these endurance blades. Now you can see why a pack of six endurance blades costs a little bit more than a pack of nine of the regular blades. Kind of confusing, right? Well, <laughs> have you ever gone shopping for paper towels? <laughs> yeah, I said, have you ever gone shopping for paper towels? What does that have to do with this? Well, think of it like going shopping for paper towels. Every time you look at buying a pack of paper towels, what does it usually say on there somewhere? Six rolls equals nine rolls or <laughs> five rolls equals eight rolls or something to that extent. That's what you're getting here. Yeah, you're only getting six of these endurance blades in a pack, but it's probably going to cut about the same or close to the same amount of cuts as about nine to 12 of the standard blades because of having more cutting surface on the blade and the way it works. Now, which blade is going to be best for you? Well, the endurance blades, as we have shown you, will last longer than the standard style mower blades. But here's what to consider. If you're mowing in wet grass, it will clog up those mower blade cutting edges and ruin that blade faster. 
like it said in the manual, if you have debris in your yard, sticks, twigs, um, some kind of marker pins, whatever laying out there, and your blades are hitting that stuff, it's going to ruin those blades faster. So you're probably not going to want to spend the money on the good endurance blades if you're just going to have to replace them faster because of abuse and hitting stuff. So the standard style blades might be better suited for you. That's something you really need to think about before you run out to your dealer or go online and say, I've got to have these blades. I saw them mentioned in a YouTube video. I've got to have them because I'm not going to have to replace them as often. If you have crappy mowing conditions, it's still not going to help you. So before you go and spend the extra money on these blades and have them fail you prematurely, complain about the blades, or just waste your money on blades you're going to have to replace all the time because of outside interference to the blades, you might want to just stick with the standard mowing blades. So now back to putting our mower together, you got to put the metal shield for our blades back on there and you want to make sure that you have it on properly. The little plastic nipples are sticking up through the slots in the metal shield. Then you're going to put your center cap on. Those nipples actually go up into the holes in the center cap and then you just put that down on those nipples there, line up your screw holes and you're good to go to put your screws in. Now, when you're going to put these screws in, as we told you before in other videos, these are steel screws going into plastic. So the trick to doing this is you want to turn that screw counterclockwise, like you're going to loosen it. You'll feel a, a, a pop. You might even hear it. That means that screw is lined up and ready to go in, and then you can turn it in. Don't force it in. Don't use your impact on this. Just... Use a screwdriver of some sort or a T-handle and just put these screws in there. They snug up. That's it. Not a whole lot more to it. You don't have to hoss on these and crank on these or anything like that. This is the trick to running this kind of screw into plastic, whether it's on your automower, your chainsaw, your string trimmer, or anything else. This is the way to successfully put them in without screwing up the threads in the plastic. Now, what happens if your mower was working fine, you put new blades on it, Take it out, you start it up, and it sounds like this. If you get a noise like that, or an error saying cutting system in balance, then you're going to want to flip the mower over and rotate your cutting disc around and check each of your blades. Chances are you have a problem like this if you just replace the blades. That is two mower blades on the same screw. This one here is really loud because they did it on two out of three of the screws. These blades will stick together and it can easily be done. We've seen it done many times, but that's one of those things you got to watch for. And that's one of those things where if you take that shield off of there and you can see things better, you might notice that you might pick up on it a little bit quicker. This customer here, they moved for quite a while with these on there until they finally called and said, we can't figure out what's wrong with our mower. We keep getting this error message, but then it starts up and goes for a while again, but it sounds a lot louder than it did before. Now, to give you an idea of how easy it is to put two blades on the same screw, if you're not paying real close attention to what you're doing, this is looking at the cutting edges. On one side, this is one blade. On the other, this is two blades stuck together. That's how much of a difference you get there. Yeah, on that picture, after the mower's been out for a while, it was easy to tell because there was separation between the two, but... If you've ever changed these blades and you've gone to put new blades on, you know these things stick together pretty tight in a pack. So you want to make sure that you're only putting one blade on at a time. If you have that error message, uh, you know, a cutting, cutting disc imbalance or um, your mower's making a funny noise like in that video, this is the place to start. Check out your mower blades. You know, if you don't see it dragging anything along, chances are you might have two blades on one screw. So that was a little look there at some of the options for automower blades, a little bit of advice not to use the Chinese ones that are goldish in color or titanium coated or whatever you want to label them as. As the manual says, look for only the ones with the Husqvarna logo stamped into them. 
And we showed you the endurance blades, what makes them better than the standard blades. Um, gave you a little bit of advice there for changing your blades and keeping your cutting system in good working condition. Now, the other big question everybody always has is, how often should I change my blades? There's no set answer for that. Everybody's grass is different. Everybody has different conditions. Everybody has different stuff randomly laying in their yard. So it's just something you're going to have to figure out by trial and error. Um, you know, if you were sharpening your mower blades on your conventional mower once a year, then you're probably the kind of person that will run the same blades on your auto mower all year long too. Uh, you know, it, it it's something you really got to look at closely. Uh, one thing we will tell you though, is if your mower is mowing in wet conditions, that wet grass will stick to the blades and it will gum up that cutting disc or that cutting edge on the actual cutting blade and it'll cause it to just beat the grass down rather than actually cut it. So that's something you got to take into consideration. If your mower is running over tree limbs, um, you know, cement curbs, uh, marker pins in the ground, stuff like that, it's going to beat up the edges of them. Then it's not going to cut as well. If you have endurance blades on there, you're not going to change them as much as somebody that's running conventional blades. If you have endurance blades on there and you're mowing in wet grass, those blade edges will gum up just like the ones on the standard blade. So again, trial and error, just something you're going to have to figure out on your own. Nobody can give you an exact answer of how many hours or how many days or how many weeks till you have to go out there and change your blades. It's something you just have to look at your mower periodically, you know, look at the quality of cut on your grass and just do it as needed. As always, we hope you learned something here. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe. Pass this on to your friends, neighbors, colleagues, coworkers, whoever else might be interested in auto mower or have an auto mower or asking questions about an auto mower or anything to do with an auto mower. Um, we appreciate the support. Thanks for watching. Keep checking back. And we'll be talking to you later.